Welcome guys, Thunder Episode to Boomarina. Today we're gonna be playing with some Dark Knight. Actually, I want this video to be kinda of a sequel uh, to my uh, last video with a Dark Knight where uh, let's say I played some games uh, with this uh, particular deck and I wasn't quite proud with my gameplay so let's just try to fix it in today's video. I would... okay. This Piercing Archer unfortunately won't be dead so I might as well just use a Blitz on it. Nothing wrong with that. He's going to be playing a Viking Bird Spam by the first looks. Silly Sausage. And uh, he should be playing Viking on this Dark Knight. There's no reason not to. There we go. And obviously that's not the thing that I'd love to see. But at the same time that's the thing you have to kind of expect. In a Viking Bird Spam meta. I'm going to play Devils against, against this Viking to just kill it. Very cool defense. I'm going to play Digger against this Ghost. That's pretty much the best response uh, from me against this card. He's gonna be playing Piercing Archer to absolutely clean everything up and I absolutely agree with that response because it, it probably was just his best response. I think I'm gonna just play Dark Knight in the back since he doesn't have Viking on hand. I can pretty much do uh, crazy plays like this and hope to get some advantage. If he's gonna get to the Viking... Uh, uh, in a moment that's gonna pretty much suck because my Dark Knight will run into him once again. But if he doesn't, I'm gonna absolutely take uh, this uh, nice win. So yeah, he's gonna actually get back to the Dark Knight, I mean to the Viking. But I have another Dark Knight, so I'm gonna basically try to uh, get another Dark Knight as soon as it's uh, physically possible. Without him getting... I mean, obviously within like... Uh, uh, reason, reasonable timing because I don't want to give him like uh, an infinite value for this Dark Knight. Even though he doesn't have Viking, he still will have some good responses. For instance, Ghost is nice response against Dark Knight. Obviously, not like the top response, but it's but it's cool enough. I'm gonna play right now. Digger against this Necromancer. I'm gonna even put a Blitz here, so he'll have to spend more mana on this push, and he doesn't. So. It's gonna deal a lot of damage. That's when I say that I kind of set up a push uh, to uh, uh, to form some pressure. I always mean by that uh, my, I expect my opponent to defend that, and I don't expect myself to get a damage out of that. But if he doesn't defend that, he's gonna receive a lot of damage. So it's not something that you can ignore, even though I only call it a pressure. So yeah, that's gonna be it uh, in the game number one. Actually, I would say the one of the hardest matchups because good Viking Burst Fan player will easily take care of this kind of cheesy deck because it's kind of cheesy. It doesn't have big spell, it doesn't have like real win conditions, just a digger and a skeleton keg. Uh, maybe those are solid win conditions. Either way, I don't think that this deck is too good at all, but I still will try to play with it because it can be very fun to play and also it has kind of even a player base in this game. So yeah. That's gonna be game number one, let's jump to the game number two. And in game number two we're gonna be facing Vayne who will have 1200 mils and for whatever reason he throws rolling steel in the middle. I'm gonna just show that I'm uh, gonna be playing a normal deck so he doesn't feel bad about himself. Obviously could have just punished his uh, overextension over rolling steel but at the same time I don't think uh, I th I played some games against Vayne today and I was absolutely hard countering him so he may kinda expect me to still run this deck uh, and I'm not so I'm gonna just notify him by playing uh, the different card. Also you kinda uh, got the inside that I was today playing with some... I mean I wasn't playing with... Okay, Wait, that's actually gonna be very annoying because I don't have... Too good of a response against that. I will have to play Dark Knight right here, which absolutely isn't the thing that I wanted to play. So yeah, right now I have to utilize it somehow. He's going to be playing Swordsman. Very yeah, he's going to be playing Swordsman. I I think that was pretty much the best thing I could have done because at the same time I didn't want to uh, uh, give him a value for his uh, phone hut, which he certainly has. I'm gonna play Copter here. Because it's a pretty darn good response against Skelkek. And I'm gonna play, uh, play a, a Fawn Horde here. 
to counter his bomb girl. I would love to at least get a counter on this bomb girl because he's gonna get a okay. That was a, that was cool. That was cool. I like this sequence. One devil will slip and he will have to spend more mana to defend my devils. They will get some damage, but all in all, he's doing pretty good job at uh, pretty much uh, preventing me from doing anything I want in this matchup. Uh, he's gonna even get a bomb girl and I don't think I can deal with that uh, anytime soon. I think I'm gonna deal with it right now because, yeah, why not? I'd love to not react to this uh, skeleton keck and I didn't have to, so that was nice. He's gonna be playing a bomb girl, which I'm gonna promptly react to because I cannot uh, pretty much afford any more damage in this matchup. He's gonna be playing... Uh, Another time some pressure, obviously not, absolutely not the perfect thing to see, I'm gonna, he's even, go okay, he's not gonna get a kill on Copter, that's, that's huge. Right now it's pretty much only a uh, moment in this game where I can get uh, anything done with my cards and Dark Knight locks onto the tower, so if he won't be able to get rid of it quick enough, I'm gonna get this tower and we're officially back into the game, so yeah, that was... That was pretty tough because I was kinda waiting for this asymmetric return for a quite a while and finally we get it. So yeah, that's gonna be decent. Also, helicopter obviously helping uh, a crap ton in this matchup. I'm gonna right now just set up another attack. Because why not? I'm gonna play Dark Knight in the middle. I'm gonna play some Digger to get a direct damage, which is obviously uh, of the essence right now. Because right now we are not fighting for the advantage anymore, we are right now just trading to deal some damage, so I'm gonna from uh, this point forward uh, be defending the uh, phone cards perfectly, R like this, I would love to get a perfect counter on that, and I definitely did, I would love to get a, a counter on this bomb girl, but he's just doing a great job at protecting her, I would Okay, we get a counter on the bomb girl and right now he has to deal some damage and do not uh, receive some on his own and I don't think he won't be successful at it. We're gonna counter this phone kick. Yeah, th the game got pretty buggy at the end as you can see in the footage but we get the job done at the end of the day. We get a pretty decent comeback here because like I've said it was a very good matchup for him as long as he can defend are uh, overwhelming pressure and he did so i mean he he did for the most of the game but one dark knight slip is all it takes to lose the pretty much uh, one game so yeah that's gonna be very fun game to be played and let's jump to the game number three and right now we're gonna get a six star player that's gonna have 112 medals and obviously i would love to counter these bone blasters with troops but i was a bit too slow so i kinda used spells to do the same job, so uh, we're gonna be uh, trying to figure out what deck is he playing, as far as we can see, he's gonna be having Necromancer and he's gonna be playing Apes, so I'm gonna definitely play a Dark Knight on this, uh, because it's the best response to Apes that we have, we're gonna play Devils as well to take care of this Necromancer a bit sooner, very cool to see, and right now we're gonna just start pushing, because he kinda overextended, I think. I'm gonna play Fawn Hort. If he's gonna play Rolling Steel, that's cool for us. This Dark Knight still will jump to the tower, which I didn't expect, but we got it anyway. That's gonna be jump and hit, if I recall correctly. Also, uh, yeah, I think that was a good trade, all in all. Not gonna complain about that. So, right now we kinda have to be still uh, looking out for this necromancer, so I'm gonna just play this type of trick He's gonna right now get one a but I'm gonna get a kill on his necromancer and yeah I'm a, I'm gonna right now get a ton of damage with this uh, Digger plus skeletons on the tower definitely Sneaky way to deal damage. I wasn't having dark knight in rotation though, so he's gonna get a uh, some damage with uh, his apes Absolutely love to see it when uh, people actually are finding these openings because they themselves prove to uh, themselves uh, that the defeating uh, even uh, cheesy decks like these is possible. I'm gonna play right now. Fall Horde, obviously, like I've said before, you always want to play uh, troops instead of spells if you can. I 
couldn't uh, in my first defense because I was uh, too slow with the reaction time. But this time there's no excuse if I were to play Blitz instead of the Fawn Horde. These apes will get uh, just a tad of damage. I'm not worried about it obviously and right now I'm gonna just go for the Devils and uh, Digger on the opposite side. He's gonna counter uh, my Dark Knight though. That was a very good sequence out of him. Very cool to see. I'm gonna play... Oh, I would love to play the Dark Knight and I'm gonna just wait for the Dark Knight. There's no reason why shouldn't I wait. I'm gonna just now play Blitz to make sure these uh, Bone Blasters won't connect and yeah. That's another purpose of spells. Usually if you want to change the interaction of two, you can do it. And that's uh, another usage of spells that I kind of uh, approve. Uh, okay, he's gonna just go in and actually he's doing pretty good job because if I weren't to be able to just click his tower and remove it, it would have been a very close game. He was utilizing his Necromancer very well in this game, but not enough. So we're gonna be taking the dub right here in the game number 3 and we're gonna jump into the game number 4. GG well played! And it looks like we're gonna get this 6 star player once again. Like I've said before, uh, 6 stars probably mean that his uh, nickname was inappropriate for uh, this game's standard, so it got blurred out. Obviously not every single nick in the game got blurred out. There are some offensive nicknames we Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. He's going to play Necromancer though, so yeah. I would say that was uh, an example of bad Necromancer because right now I can just uh, get my attack going. Even though I didn't get too much out of it, uh, I think it was fine. Right now I'm gonna just play Devils. Like I've said, always troop before spells because these Devils will counterattack and Blitz wouldn't, so... I, I don't think actually these devils will get a damage. Yeah, unfortunately this time actually Blitz would be a better response because I didn't get any counterplay and I would have used uh, one mana less. So yeah, that, that's gonna be one drawback of uh, using troops. Troops are usually uh, more expensive for the job that uh, they are re required to do. But if you can keep them alive, that's gonna be usually scaling well for you. Uh, over time. So I'm gonna play Stonefalls here to defend these ones. I think I actually should have played a Dark Knight on the opposite side because uh, it would have uh, countered a Necromancer as well. But at the same time, we live and we learn from our mistakes. So I'm gonna be playing Digger here. Dark Knight will absolutely shred through this tower on the right, while the Digger will put a work on the left. And I'm gonna play a Fawn Horde because I pretty much expect the uh, resignation uh, any second now. He's pretty uh, behind in every single aspect of the game. I would love to also hold this tower, but I'm not gonna spend every single penny on that. So this tower unfortunately will fall. Well, sucks to suck. But at the same time, we're gonna keep the helicopter alive. And that's what's important, because if the tower were to fall and the helicopter were to fall, that would have been absolutely unacceptable. And I'm gonna play a Dark Knight in the middle. I'm gonna even predict the Fall Hut. Unfortunately, my uh, uh, Keg won't be able to uh, score on the tower, but the Skeletons will. That's good. And with this... Uh, Victorious Dark Knight's jump will finish the game number 4 and move to the last game of the video. Let's keep the momentum going! And the last game of the video will be against Mustache Wheel O. Very interesting nickname to say the least. He's going to be playing Viking first play in the back, which will try to punish by playing a Digger plus Devils on the opposite side. We're gonna see how it's gonna turn because so far he's not very eager to respond with anything, to be frank. I'm gonna play a uh, Dark Knight on this gunner because why not? I'm gonna get a Dark Knight's jump on this Viking. Unfortunately, it gets one swing, but nothing to be worried. Dark Knight still has way more health than he, than he ever needs. And with that being said, we're gonna get a Dark Knight's jump on the, on the tower. I was about to say Viking tower, but yeah. The Viking tower is still not available for us to attack unless we want to attack with its spell because uh, almost all spells can pretty much attack uh, uh, the entirety of the map. There are some spells that are restricted, for instance uh, Footman Keg and I think only Footman Keg. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna take the tower down and 
our friend Master Shwil will have to come back to this game if he wants to uh, if he wants to still compete. He's gonna be playing Gunner on the opposite side. I think that's the good moment to play a skeleton keg on the left hand side. So he still has to respond to that. And there we go, we get a can as a response. Very cool to see. I'm gonna play helicopter here. Try to uh, counter the gunner for pretty cheaply. I didn't even want this copter to get hurt, unfortunately it did, so yeah, that's gonna suck. And right now I'm gonna just play uh, Dark Knight in the middle. It's usually not a good play, especially if you know that your opponent has a Viking. But I also have the intel that my opponent will resign very soon, very quickly, and yeah. That's gonna be actually a Rage Quit and a Noob at the end of the day. Uh, for a good measures or a bad, I don't know. We're gonna get the game number 5 and that's gonna be the moment where I'm gonna end today's video. So, uh, in this episode I got uh, way easier matchups and way easier opponents than in the previous one. I still think that I can improve with this deck, but uh, this gameplay today was good enough for the uh, for the content. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video and uh, made till the end, so you can actually hear me saying that. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already. I'm posting Boom Arena content every single day, along with the shorts. You may check them out as well. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.